Hey nation, quick allergy warning, this show's got nuts in it. So first story guys, we've all been there, you go to a restaurant, you want to order something and the waiter comes back with not what you ordered. Well now there's a place in Tokyo called the Restaurant of Order Mistakes. So what they're doing is they're hiring waitering staff that all suffer with dementia. I guess this is probably to bring awareness about mental illness to the country and also to give sufferers of mental illness something to do. So personally, I think this is a really cool thing that they're doing and it sounds like they're going to be doing another event to celebrate World Alzheimer's Day. Uh, waiter? I, I actually ordered the lobster? So guys, the first Black Panther trailer has just dropped. Check it out. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? I'm the only one who's seen it and made it out alive. <laughs> the world is changing. Step into the spotlight. You are a good man. Step into the spotlight. It's a good heart. And it's hard for a good man to be a king. I am super excited for this movie. It really looks like they're doing him a lot of justice. It does make me wonder where in the greater Infinity War universe the story actually fits because I don't see anything that actually ties to the, the bigger story at the moment. But I am definitely gonna go and watch this movie. Still on the topic of movies, Universal Studios are starting their Dark Universe saga. What is the Dark Universe saga? Well, first it starts with the new movie with Tom Cruise that has just come out called The Mummy. In this movie, you're introduced to the Mummy character, but you're also introduced to a new character that you guys will remember, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Other characters that have been revealed by Universal is the Invisible Man, who's gonna be played by Johnny Depp, and Frankenstein's monster, which is gonna be played by Javier Bardem. Well done. <laughs> the next movie to come out is Bride of Frankenstein. There are rumors at the moment that the lead role is going to go to Angelina Jolie. Other characters I hope we can expect is Dracula, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, Dorian Gray, maybe even the Phantom of the Opera, that could fit in there, and oh, Wolfman and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. So there's some news out of our weird neighboring cousin Zimbabwe. There's this 34 year old lady who wasn't doing very well in her O levels, which is the equivalent to our metric exams. And she decided to pay a tutor to write all of her exams for her. Of course, he was a guy, so he had to look the part, donned himself in drag, and he went to go and write some exams for her. He had already written two of her exams and was doing the third when the invigilator who was watching everything kind of figured there was something going on here and decided to approach her, him, shit, this is difficult, and found out that it was not the person who was supposed to be there. They've both been arrested in the meantime and yeah. Uh, next story. So we all know about the crazy natural disasters that are happening in South Africa at the moment, from crazy storms down in Cape Town to wild forest fires in Neisner and also in PE. As of recording, these natural disasters have claimed 13 lives already and destroyed countless homes and buildings. So we've all heard about the bad sides of this, but I want to give you guys some of the good things that have come out of this. There are so many individuals and companies that have offered their support trying to help in any way that they can. Just to name a few, FNB and ABSA both gave 10 million rand. Woolworths, Outsurance, Mutual and Federal, Discovery, Spa, Pick and Pay, ShopRite Checkers all got involved. Macro sent down an eight ton truck with necessities for everybody. Skynet and DHL were offering free deliveries for 
anybody that wanted to send something that would help the cause. And Kalula offered free return flights for all professional firefighters. Damn, SA. To all of the companies and individuals that got involved from us at Hay Nation, thank you. And a last mention for the very small minority that turned this unifying situation into something racial or homophobic. Fuck you. Well, we've reached the WTF moment of the week, guys, and this one goes to... Hey, Quincy, is it okay if I have my protein? You don't even lift, buddy, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> hey, Quincy, is it okay if I take my deodorant and stick my arm... <laughs> hey, Quincy, is it okay if I get my key? I'm gonna be late for work if... <laughs> Hey Quincy, is it okay if I take one of my socks, please? You don't pay for these, I do, and you've been sitting in them all day, so I'm gonna take it right now. Come on, please. Ah! Hey Quincy, is it okay if I have the toilet paper, please? Ah! Hey Quincy, is it okay if I have my blanket, please? I'm really cold, so I need my blanket. Ah! Hey Quincy, is it okay if I just grab this book right here? And you'll be nice, because it says how to be a gentleman, so you'll be nice. Ah! Get him! Oh. Ah! <laughs> well, that's our show, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and we will see you next week.